what is up everyone and welcome back to the channel today as promised i'm bringing you the unboxing review of marvel legends hasbro spider-man craven figure from the animated uh spider-man series now this guy looks like a really good figure and I can't wait to get them out the box. But real quick, we're going to take a look at the box. And for the artwork and the box, Hasbro never fails giving us an amazing packaging when it comes to these um, Marvel Legends um, animated series uh, Spider-Man figures. Because they give us the retro throwback look, which I freaking love. It's so iconic. Um, and for the back of the box... As always, you do see a little bit of, like, bio. Um, I think he came out in Season 1, Episode 7 was his first appearance, if I'm correct. Um, so, if you guys want to see what this guy's all about, I think he is an underrated character from the Spider-Man line. And definitely um, a really good figure to have. I'm really excited to get him out the box. So, let's go ahead and do that. Let me go ahead and sense... We're not keeping this box, so let's just break it. I'm sorry, guys. You guys can take a look at what's behind the box, which is my whole animated series collection from Spider-Man. Um, but taking him out the box, um, I'm not keeping the boxes, guys, unless they're like these. Um, sorry, guys, unless they're like the box artwork like the one that the two pack wrong then maybe i'll keep them depending some of them i even throw out but wow this guy looks awesome already haven't even ch checked him out yet but um check him out man he looks freaking good with all of them back there um let's start off with the only accessory this figure brings is an awesome awesome kind of like um he uses this in the in the animated series. This is his iconic trademark weapon. Um, I love it, man. It's kind of like... I can't find the word right now. But um, let me know in the comments down below the exact um, name for this. This is freaking awesome, man. I love the paint. Look at it. It got a lot of details, to be honest. I'm trying to give you guys a better look. It is really nice detailed. It's got like the pearls right here. These are pearls. Um, I believe from his um from his former lover, the girl he loved and who made him into this. Again, it's all in the episode. I believe season one, episode seven. So let's check him out. Alright, guys, so checking him out. Um Right off the back, this thing looks freaking dope. I like this right here. His vest, like, I love the colors. I know there's another Craven figure out there. Um, I think it's a two-pack Craven figure. Um, really not interested. It, it is actually the two-pack that comes with the symbiote Spider-Man. I think this is an upgrade. Not because I have them, but there goes more Morbius. Um, not because I have them, but because... This one's more accurate with the color scheme to the animated um, series. So that's why I prefer this one. Now, you can obviously take off the vest, which I'm not going to take it off, honestly. But he is looking jack, bro. This guy really took the serum. <laughs> um, but man, this is... You see, this is what I like when Hasbro does this. Like I said, getting Hasbro Legends figures, it can be a hit or miss. This, I feel like, is a complete package. Down to the paint scheme on this figure, like, the paint is applied perfect. The details on it, perfect. The the figure doesn't feel cheap. It doesn't feel like he got some cheap uh, legs. Like, everything feels solid. Like, it feels very premium. And, guys, this figure is going right now for $10 on Walmart. Get him while you can. Like, $10, guys. Not even 10, 9 something. And I, I, yes, you do pay shipping and whatnot, but to say you pay nine bucks, you know what I mean? Sticker price nine dollars. Like, that's a freaking steal, man. He, right off the bat, he's better than some of these figures I paid $24 for. Like, it's crazy. He feels freaking amazing. Look at the head scope. Very animated, very cartoonish. 
um only thing no highlights on the hair the blue highlights were missing legends really don't do that kind of stuff a lot but other than that it looks freaking great and again look at the details on the vest it is supposed to be a lion face like i'm, I'm gonna be honest with you guys i wasn't this wasn't my favorite character in the animated series was my least interest but seeing him in figure form one of the coolest figures from my animated series line like hands down again like the great quality feels freaking great feels better than morbius back there feels better than this guy back here you know what i mean like he feels freaking great guys like look at the detail on the belt look at that look at the spikes like man i gotta tell you guys bro like for nine bucks plus tax whatever i bought them both i bought the two pack and this guy at the same time so i couldn't tell you you know i paid an even around for those three for these three figures right here i paid about i think in shipping and everything i pay like about 38 bucks so you tell me what a steal when it comes to these three amazing figures for 38 dollars you know that look at that they look amazing <coughs> excuse me they look amazing and i gotta say the superior one honestly is craven looks superior and feels superior you know like he's overall a better figure um I like legend figures. I'm not gonna lie. Let me fix this. Hold up. All right, guys. I like the legends figures. I'm not gonna lie. I like the Hasbro figures, but sometimes I feel that Hasbro can give us some like very petite kind of figures. Very like, like this guy right here. Very small. Very, just, slimmed down and like I I like figures like this more. I like this kind of quality. From Hasbro more than this and it's a shame that sometimes these cost more we end up paying more um but I, I like I don't know man I that's why I'm a fan of McFarlane and stuff too because they feel larger than what you know than these guys they are basically larger scale figures but they feel like you're getting what you pay for with these guys like sometimes they honestly feel just like I know they're toys but they don't feel like collector's items. They feel like a toy. You know what I mean? Like straight up like a toy. Like this guy feels more like a collector's item. So basically th this is why I really like this figure a lot more. Because he feels better. Uh, looks better. And feels like a collector's item. Looks like a collector's item. Rather than just a toy laying around. So I really give this figure a 10 out of 10 guys. Get him if you can. If he's still on clearance get him. He's definitely worth $24 if you can get him at retail price. Um, he's a steal, man. He's a figure that I can see um, he's going to go up in value, no doubt. And wow, the joints are nice and smooth. Like these other guys back here, they felt stiff as heck when I got them out the box. This guy feels really good. Feels like you can pose him without falling or worrying about him falling. Look, not even worry about that this is what i'm talking about like the feet the feet so wide and they can hold the figure up like normally we get these little tiny figures they can't i mean tiny feet they can't hold the figure up you know and it kind of sucks and he just dropped my craven um but yeah look at that that's freaking awesome man i gotta say really excited this is underrated figure hands down an underrated figure that's probably what the thumbnail is gonna read as well because look at that you can't go wrong you can't go wrong honestly i'd rather this than the two pack and some of y'all may be like what but honestly it's true you get this figure that doesn't hold a candle at all to craven at all let me fix the camera all right you hold you see this figure does this guy doesn't hold a candle next to Craven? Not one bit. This figure is ten times better than him. So we're looking at just the this guy right here. As much as I love like this Spider-Man figure for what it is, you know, like the six hand Spider-Man that's iconic. I gotta say, figure wise, this guy feels better. 
So if I had to even go with one, if you have to and recommend one to you guys, I would say go, go with um, the Craven figure, like hands down. If you're looking interested in just getting one, at least the Craven figure, you know, you'll probably pay plus shipping 15 bucks. You're getting a heck of a deal with this guy. He looks great. Here's the Symbiote Suit Spider-Man from the single pack wave with the Shocker. Same wave as well. Shocker right here. Another great figure. I feel like he's underrated as well. Um, who else do we have? We have... Ha uh, is he? I think he's Hammerhead. Yeah, this is Hammerhead. The other guy. I forgot the other guy's name. The gray guy. Um, he's coming out as well in single pack. Would like to get him. These are underrated figures. They're really good for what they are. Though they're not fans' favorite. Um, back here, we have one of my first, first Legend figures. They got me back into collecting. I think he was actually the first figure I bought when I started collecting again. Which was Hydro Man. I love Hydro Man. Underrated character. And then back there, I'm not going to reach back there right now. But you guys got Venom from Diamond Select. My custom... Green Goblin, my Hobgoblin from the same symbiote suit wave. You got Sandman from the animated series. You guys seen a review on that guy not too long ago. And you have Carnage from Toy Biz. Let me get him over here. This is the OG Toy Biz Carnage figure. My only Carnage for the moment, guys. For the moment. Um possibly get one in the future from Hasbro just to update that carnage um but yeah guys very very excited and very hyped to have this guy added to my spider-man um animated series collection um if you guys didn't know spider-man is definitely one of my favorite um shows was the spider-man animated series and x-men the animated series those two are iconic shows and i grew up watching them so hands down if hasbro releases any stuff like figures within those animated series shows you know i'm getting them um same way i feel towards the turtle NECA figures from the movie so anyways guys with that being said i do hope you enjoy this um little review unboxing of craven if you want to see more let me know let me know what you guys want to see next um, and just stay tuned for more because I do have some more stuff coming up, um, Batman related. So stay tuned for that. But as for right now, this is all you guys are going to see for Spider-Man, uh, for now at least. So yeah, guys, let me know what you guys think about Craven, and I'll catch you guys on the next one.